this is why I don't get upset with Ravens fans who have been tripping out when they hear about a player getting hurt. Like most recently, um, it was Kyle Hamilton yesterday. They said he went down in practice. Uh, they said he got up, but then he ended up just leaving with a trainer or something like that and didn't return. And his day ended early. And there were a lot of Ravens fans freaking out. But I understood why because of 2021. Recency bias is real and amongst Ravens fans, it is a real thing. Ravens fans from last year have been scared and scarred. And those are often two words that a lot of people get mixed up when it comes to the spelling. But you can insert either one in a sentence when it comes to how Ravens fans feel about last season. With every single injury that just continued to pile up and 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 pile up. We hope that this isn't the beginning of a pile. It was said today that Vince Beagle, who was competing for a roster spot, who, if you read the reports, there was a lot of good stuff coming out about him. Uh, and it was looking like he might have been one of those sleeper guys to make the roster, especially with how just thin uh, the Ravens seem to be uh, at outside linebacker. But it was said that he had to leave training camp on a cart today. Um, he couldn't put any pressure on his leg. And they said that he tore his Achilles. So they officially lose him for the season. So this brings a lot of Ravens fans deja vu uh, for, from last year because this is something that we heard over and 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 over again, literally from start all the way to the very end. Because, of course, Tyus uh, Bowser, very last game of the season, Achilles. Achilles injury, very last game of the season. And it's like, man, how, how could it be so bad? So, again, hopefully this isn't the start um, of a lot of the same Now with uh, Tyler Lindenbaum He went down too but They said that um, he's he's gonna be good uh, Harbaugh said that he just Got his foot stepped on They're gonna get an MRI just to be sure And yes please, please get an MRI Please get it Cause We want some certainty Ravens need some certainty Even if the fans don't get it The Ravens need some certainty So they will know exactly how to move forward uh, And hopefully it's not anything long term But there just been injuries Charlie Collar Now with Charlie Collars was a bit different Because that was something that he He had been dealing with uh, from college With the little sports hernia Harbaugh said that uh, He was gonna try to he, He's gonna try to play through it But it ended up just being too much. Got the surgery. That's going to keep him out. I think they said like a week or maybe two, something like that. But when he, he'll he be back. Um, but this is just, again, it's a reoccurring thing. Oh, but we hope it, it stops here. But, again, it's, it's, all, it's the worst part about football. It's the worst part about football is the injuries. Because they happen to every team. You, you can't do anything about them. Um, Ravens, they've been trying to do things a bit differently this year. Um, so far, besides today, but so far so good. Um, hopefully this will be it. But you feel for these people, man. You feel for them because with Vince Beagle, I just, initially, I just thought that, okay, yeah, veteran guy. He played some inside and outside linebacker, I think, uh, for the Dolphins, I believe. Um, but I just felt like the Ravens were just signing him just... As a just-in-case guy, but they would have some other guys that they were going to have on the roster ahead of him. But again, th those reports were saying that he was doing his thing. And we know, like, Ravens right now at outside linebacker, it is slim pickings. Your rookie, who you drafted in the second round, might not even play this year. Might not even play. Uh, Adafi away, he'll be back And they said that he's been looking really good So that's a beautiful thing Tyus Bowser, uh, we still waiting for him to officially come back uh, From his Achilles injury that we were just talking about uh, They just signed Justin Houston A um, couple of weeks ago So he's with the squad again uh, For another year uh, Dalen Hayes, who missed most of last year uh, With injury um, He's looking to take a step forward 
Malik Harrison, uh, who is an inside linebacker, but they apparently are trying him at outside linebacker. Maybe a mix of both inside and outside. It just depends on what the roster calls for. We'll see what happens with that. But other than that, unless I'm missing somebody, it's slim pickings, baby. It's slim pickings. Um, so, I mean, we're going to see. We, we're going to see what goes down uh, now, uh, how they replace him. I think, do they still have Stephen Means, too? I think they still got Stephen Means, but he's more like, a, like an edge guy. Not necessarily an outside linebacker, but just more of an edge guy, like sort of a D end. Um, but yeah, man, yeah, it's it, it, it's it's a tough part of the business, man. And the Ravens, like we've been saying all off season, this this off season, especially from last year, stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. And but I do appreciate the fact that the Ravens are trying. They're trying different methods. So, because again, with like a J.K. Dobbins. We remember he, hey, he's talking to Harbaugh. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. He went and tried to shut Ian Rappaport down when that report came out. That Ian Rappaport said, oh, he's probably going to start on physically unable to perform this. And uh, he may not even be ready for week one. JK came and said, no, 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 no. I, I might not even go on the, the pup list. And I'm definitely going to be ready by week one. Oh, oh, he's on the pup list. It's like, oof. But they're not rushing him. They don't need to rush them. Ravens do. They do not need to rush anybody back, and that's been a step in the right direction. Them not rushing guys. Gus Edwards, another one. He not rushing them. David Ajab. I mean, well, they can't rush them even if they wanted to. Uh, again, because that's such a. It's a long term investment. You invested a second round pick. Like you, when you you really gotta th think about that for a second. Because I know. Um, which I can understand both sides. Like, there, I know there are a lot of people frustrated. Like, why, why would they pick somebody who can't even play right here, right now? Why would they do that? Especially because I know a lot of people been seeing them George, them George Pickens, the, all the highlights and stuff that he been putting out in, in Steelers camp and whatnot. And it's like, ooh, what could have been? You know that that was, that was somebody that I, I really wanted the Ravens to draft was Pickens because uh I, so he he got that attitude man he got the attitude mixed with ability and you combine all that I kept calling him he's like a Marcus Peters but on offense and ooh I, I would have loved it but it, anyway it's, it's, it is what it is but with Ajabo um I know there were a lot of people like frustrated because like man this dude he might not even play this year uh and the Ravens he's a second round pick on him but the Ravens like for them to use a second round pick on him and, and he was projected to be a first round pick before the Achilles injury but for them to use a second round pick on somebody who they may not even may not even see the field this year that speaks highly of just how they view him as the future that speaks very highly of how they they, they view him and then of course his contract is going to run out the same time Adafi Awe's contract is going to run out so hopefully those guys can build something special uh, as the pass rushers of the, the next generation of Ravens. So that, that can be nice. But anyway, they can't rush him back. Ronnie Stanley. Well, I mean, we, we done talked about Ronnie Stanley a lot. But they are not rushing him back. When we were there for, uh, for training camp, we saw him standing around talking to the guys. Just, he, he looked fine. Um, he didn't look like he was limping or anything like that. And then, of course, we've seen little stuff on social media, him doing the whole the walking on the beach and walking backwards on the beach and whatnot. Even seen him, I think he showed himself running a little bit, too. So everything has looked good. But again, don't want to rush. I think Harbaugh said it a couple of days ago that Ronnie Stanley, yeah, he'll be back at some point, but his return is not imminent. Doesn't have to be right around the corner. We hope that it's right around the corner. But it doesn't need to be. Marcus Peters, that's another one. Marcus Peters, he did say in an interview um, with Sway. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll be back in like June, July. And boom, he, he came through, but he hasn't practiced yet. They're not rushing people. They're not rushing guys. Um, and with him, like, it's just like, man, what, who's it going to be? Who's, who's going to come back first? Because you got some significant guys that are out. Um, but Ravens, again, they, they're taking a different approach. So with them not rushing those guys back, great. Don't. Don't rush them.
because it's a long season. And last year, it just got a game longer. It's a very long season. Worst case scenario, you got some guys that miss one game, two games, three games, maybe four. But I w- me personally, I mean, obviously want everybody to play all 17 games. But if somebody's going to miss some time, I would rather them miss the first two, three, four games than miss the last 10 on the back end. They gonna miss some time. They miss some time early. All right, cool. Let's get them for the long stretch. Let's get them for that 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 home stretch. Cause it's, it's a it's a very long and it's a very tough tough schedule that the Ravens got this year. Oof, it's a tough schedule. And and the Ravens have a uh, they, they got the last place schedule, right? I don't think yeah, I think they do. Like, uh, the last place schedule. Them quotation marks are real. All that first place and last place schedule. Da da da. Like. It's NFL. It's tough either way. Whether you got first place or last place, whatever you got, there's going to be some tough games. The Ravens, the Ravens certainly have some tough games this year. But they do every year. Um, they also changed the, uh, the practice re- regimen. I know Patrick Ricard, he talked about that in the press that he did a little while back. Uh, Harbaugh, he's, he's brought it up multiple times. Uh, Eric DaCosta did mention um, in the, the presser going into the offseason, he said that we, we're going to turn over every stone and look at everything. When it comes to the injuries. And they have been men of their word. So far with that. Um, even this year. I mean, th- today. It was said that the ra- it was so hot outside. Like yesterday was super hot. Today was super hot. They said today they, they had to take a little break. They had to take a little halftime break during training camp. Because it was so hot. Now, I um, unless they said it and I just straight up missed it. And that could have happened. But I'm not I, now. I ain't complaining because me, I I love being out there in the afternoon rather than having to wake up super early in the morning. But um, I, I didn't catch the uh, the reasoning for them moving practice uh, in training camp from early in the morning to them moving it to the afternoon. I didn't I didn't catch why that was. So I I don't know. I don't know why they made uh, that move. Um, but hey, if if it helps, so be it. And hopefully it does help. And that could be part of that. Just just them doing things differently, trying to prevent what 2021 was, because that was very, very ugly. Uh, But anyway, let's see how it goes. Hopefully this will be the last Achilles injury that we hear from the Ravens for the rest of the season. And hopefully they just they can just have great health because we really want to see this team full go and we know no team in the nfl is never ever going to be 100 percent. they're never going to have 100 percent of their players on the field but we just hope that the ravens can be as healthy as possible uh because that will make for a much better season